Hey, there we go. After technical difficulties, we're rolling now. Seems like that's how we're starting every week. And we're going to go ahead and share. There we go. Hello, everybody. Welcome to another edition of Walking with God. I am your host, Kyle Walker, and you are joining us here on WYTV7. There we go. Yeah, I'm getting confirmation. Sorry about the late start. Second week in a row, having technical difficulties trying to get this thing started. Apologies. So, bear with me one moment here while I ixnay the music. There we go. It has been ixnayed. And it's done. Hello, Kelly. Hello, Roderick. I see you guys online. Thank you so much for joining. Appreciate it as always. Let's go ahead and get this show started here in a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for bringing us here this evening, getting everyone through another week, bringing us all back to our Tuesday nights together. Uh, this is going to be a fun time this week, so hopefully everyone will be here and in a, in a good mood and just uh, ready to, to do some talking. So, uh, be with this show and guide us for the next half hour. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, everybody. After the last two weeks, you know, two weeks ago we had Joe on the show, which, again, still my favorite episode ever, if you haven't seen that. Uh, we just kind of dove right into what we were doing. And then last week with the uh, subject matter that we had, again, just kind of dove right in. So what I think we're going to do this time is uh, just start with a little housekeeping. This is not going to be... Uh, one of the the real deep episodes because we've had two of those in a row so we're just gonna have fun tonight so i'm looking forward to this one uh first and foremost ooh, look at all the likes coming in <laughs> daniel you're ridiculous i mean i haven't even had a chance to make fun of daniel yet this week and he's already blowing up the uh live chat i love it so uh but what daniel is illustrating perfectly is uh, last week the the Walking with God Facebook page only received three new likes, and I, I must admit it hurts. It hurts right here. And if you know me, I've already had two heart surgeries. I can't take any more hurt. So please, as we put on here, like, share the page. See if we can't get some more people on board. That would just be super de duper awesome. Yes, I'm absolutely guilt tripping you, Daniel. You're still ridiculous. Everyone now ignore the sad faces. Uh, so, yeah, I wanted to start off with, <laughs> I love it, I wanted to start off with that. Uh, if you would be so kind as to share share this page, uh, maybe invite some folks, you can invite your friends to like the page, that would be really neat. So, uh, let's see here, I see Chelsea on board, Sonia's with us, awesome, awesome, awesome. Thank you all so much. Uh, last week, we got our first caller, now it was after the show finished airing, but we got our first caller last week and I had a great conversation with Mr. Roderick, and so uh, thank you so much for your support. Uh, he asked that we just keep he and his ministry down in, in Atlanta, Georgia in mind, so we will absolutely do that. I've been praying for you all week, and I wish nothing but the best for you and what you're trying to do in Atlanta, GA, Hotlanta, as I'm sure it's called. Uh, normally, I'm always so, I've been talking about the uh, heat wave we've had here in Kansas City. Thankfully, this is the first time in a long time I can say that we're not sweltering and melting to the pavement as we finally got our break in the weather. So, very, uh, very happy about that. Oh, and Chelsea is at Silas and Maddie's enjoying ice cream. That's, that's mean. And where's mine? Actually, ice cream was my dinner tonight before the show. We're going to say that it helps the, uh, the golden tones uh, of my voice here. No. Uh, phone lines are open as per usual. And here, I'll even grab my handy-dandy helper guide. Here we go. Phone line, 980-202-2915. And you are always, oh, can't see that. There we go. Always more than welcome. Please give me a call. Uh, if you want to talk about something that we're talking about on this week's show, awesome. If it's something completely different, fire away. I'm flexible. I can adjust and all that fun stuff. Uh, next off, uh, I've mentioned it before. I'm going to mention it again. Uh, this, this WYTV7, myself and all my other hosts, you know, this is strictly volunteer. WYTV7 is a non-for-profit organization, and the only way that we run is through donations. So, I am I am again going to ask, since we're doing the housekeeping this week, that if you are feeling called to do so, please uh, go to the WYTV7 website. There is instructions on how to send a donation, and you know anything helps. 
uh, I, you know, whatever you feel, you may feel called to give, uh, that would be most greatly appreciated. WITV7 is growing, and it's really a lot of fun to watch this. Um, some of the shows that you can find, you know, Shine Your Light, Pink Conversations, Sipping on Some Tea, the Healthy Healthy Cells Chick, Revive All Radio, Faith for Healing, Heart of the Matter, and then Morning Serial are all, uh, again, like, like this show, like Walking with God, it's just people who have felt called to try and help in any way that they can um, through speaking about experiences and just sharing the word. And uh, so I, I just want to encourage you, if it's something you feel called to do, if a financial giving to this station is something you want to do, please go to the WITV7 website and there are instructions on how to donate. It would be most appreciated. I am not going to lie to you folks because I don't lie to you folks. You know, I have aspirations of doing this sort of a thing for a living. Right now, I'm just a banker. So someday, I hope to actually, you know, maybe take this show higher than than this podcast on Facebook. And that would be super cool. I do broadcasting for basketball and some sports on the uh, other end. And so, you know, that's just kind of where we're at. I enjoy doing this. This is what I want to do. And I'm doing it now without getting a penny and i still love every second of it so if you feel called please donate uh next topic next piece of house cleaning i just want to see okay uh let me see here oh uh joe is coming back on august 15th i know i mentioned that last week but i just want to let you know that that is now two weeks away uh joe's show got a great response from people they really enjoyed it i really enjoyed doing it uh, next time we're going to be talking about the subject, and I think I think it's a very fascinating one, of faith and obedience. And how um, can you have faith without obedience? Can you have obedience without faith? And then just kind of, can you get through life on willpower alone without you know, going to the higher power? And so we're going we're gonna to unpack that. We're going to dig into that. Uh, it's a discussion Joe and I have had before, and I enjoyed it so much, I wanted to bring it to you all. And so that's going to be coming up in two weeks. So... If you are a big Joe fan, which who isn't a Joe fan, then make sure you're back on August 15th. And then our last piece of house cleaning. And I'm going to kind of save the, the bulk of this for the end of the show. But we do have a big surprise future guest that will be coming up. And again, we're going to talk about that at the end of the show and when you can expect them. But believe you me, it's going to be... Oh, Rexy just asked. No, Rexy, I'm covering that right now. At the end of the show, we will unveil our September 5th guest. So, all right. See, people keeping me on my toes. This week, I'm really going to try and keep an eye on the Facebook chat, just in case anything comes through that way, which I always find humorous, even when it's a dinosaur talking to me, which is what Rexy Fidelis is. And hello, Tracy. Tracy just got in here. Appreciate you. So, this week, <laughs> what we're going to talk about... Uh, Really, this is going to be under the umbrella of coping, and I, it's not just coping um, post-divorce. It's really just coping. Period. You know, everybody has their ups and downs in life, and uh, you know, you can't you can't have the ups without the downs. And so, we're going to talk a little bit on how I personally deal with that, and how other people deal with that. I posed the question earlier today and got some opinions on the matter. So. We're already up to 13 people watching. Stephanie, Alyssa, thank you very much. Appreciate you. Yeah, there go more likes. I like it. All right. So, uh, yeah, coping. Just how to cope positively. You know, last week was heavy. I understand that. Two weeks ago was very deep with Joe. So we're, we're going to keep everything light today. Believe you me. Um, do, 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 do. So the first thing, uh, the first thing I wanted to share on coping and trust me this is going to come back full circle but this week this week is like my week before christmas i i cannot wait for this weekend it's, it's one of my three christmases shall we say now before you start sending me hate letters all right i am not comparing this weekend to the birth of jesus no 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 stop it what this is this is that that anticipation that build up that excitement for what's coming and for me it's coming this weekend so what I'm doing this weekend, as I get stuff out of the way of the camera, this is my third annual boys trip to Tulsa. I'm so excited. So what happens is me and two of my closest friends, we, we pack up our car and then we go see my buddy down in Tulsa, Oklahoma. We stay at his place, we swim in his pool and we eat his food and we responsibly might have an adult beverage or two. So 
I'm going down to see my buddy Sean. Sean, I have known for, I figured it up today, about 27 years. Uh, he was the best man in my wedding, and so uh, I've known him for a while. And then right behind them at 23 years, if I counted correctly, is my boy Dale. And then uh, lastly after that, hello Melissa who checked in, uh, Clint, my, my buddy of 13 years, and we first met working together, and we've been friends ever since. So Dale, Clint, and I will load up the car and drive down to Tulsa, bug Sean for a weekend, eat all of his food out of his refrigerator, and it's just it's such an important time because I am a big big fan and a big proponent of having guys time you, know, you need time with your buddies and ladies I am not leaving you out at all you absolutely need the girls night out all right you need to <laughs> even if you're in a couple right now there are times you need to just spend your time with your own people and I, I'm honestly a big believer in that uh, it, it really yeah, you know it's uh it's funny because you know the the end thing right now is what you identify as. So even if you identify as married, divorced, in a relationship, single, or waiting for a miracle, you know everyone needs their time with their friends, and I'm a huge believer in this. So you know even as the great band Chicago says, even lovers need a holiday far away from each other. And if Peter Cetera says it, then it must be true. So this could not be more true for guys. Guys need their time. Now what I did, I actually wanted to find someone who agreed with me, because why wouldn't I? There we go, Rexy chiming in. Camaraderie is huge, yes it is. And that, you've heard me talk about Team Fidelis before, and that's one of our three pillars, is camaraderie. Uh, but, going back, Men's Fitness, okay, which is a, a publication that a lot of men you know, read, they actually did an online article about this very issue about the importance of guys having time with their friends all right and this was an article written by i wrote his name down william herford and i'm just going to read you this is not the entire article but this is a piece of it so bear with me it says on facebook we've all got hundreds sometimes thousands of friends and we're told that we live in an era of unmatched interconnectedness who needs to make an effort you can just read your news feed and see your old buddy's pictures or his latest political rant, right? Isn't that keeping up? Keeping up? Well, no, it isn't. And that's especially true if you're a man. University of Maryland School of Social Work professor Jeffrey L. Grief, author of Buddy System, Understanding Male Friendships, famously categorized women's friendships as face-to-face -face, and men's friendships as shoulder-to-shoulder. -shoulder. When female friends get together, they're comfortable sitting across from one another and just talking. Male friends usually need to perform an activity to reach the same level of intimacy. Sure, men can pour out their hearts to one another, but that tends to happen only if we're doing something together. When Cohen and his friends ran through uh, Baltimore, and this is speaking to earlier in the article, so apologies, they were engaging in classic shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder behavior, catching up on one another's lives and enjoying one another's company by finding challenges to share. When we hang out, we always like to do stuff that has people moving instead of just sitting around, says one of the participants of this study. This shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder behavior isn't just fun. Studies have consistently shown that friendship leads to all manner of positive outcomes. Having a friend you see on most days, for instance, boosts your sense of well-being by the same amount as earning an extra $100,000 a year. If that friend lives within a mile of you, all the better, because according to economist, author, and professor Paul Dolan, PhD, who's also a world-renowned expert on happiness, people who have friends that live close are 25% more likely to feel happy than those who don't. Even if you don't have someone who lives nearby, and again, my boy's down in Tulsa, maintaining intimate friendships is key. A study of Swedish men found that friendships significantly decreased their risk of suffering heart attack, romantic attachments did not. On a darker note, psychologist Julian Holt Lundstad found that having few social ties increases your risk of dying in any given moment by the same amount as smoking 15 cigarettes a day. None of these happiness and health findings even touch on the impact of friendship on improving cognitive function, boosting pain tolerance, and making challenges seem less daunting. Yet there are benefits too. 
And yet, as men get older, they're finding themselves increasingly short on time to maintain those relationships. Now, again, that was just a snippet of an article. If you go to Men's Health Fitness online, you can find the rest of it. It was a fascinating read, but I didn't want to sit here and, and read to you the whole time. Now, like I said, my buddy Sean lives in Tulsa, but it's very important to maintain those relationships even when he's gone. And I understand that life gets busy. You know, you have, some of you have the wife and the kids and the house and the car and the dogs and the jobs and the little league coaching and all the responsibilities that come with getting older, which I, I mean, I, I personally have not gotten older, but you might have. It's definitely maybe a thing. But it's important that you maintain that. So even if for once a year, which is what we're doing, once a year, the four of us come together and we, uh, last year because of my heart surgery, they came up here and they got to, we spent the weekend together right before I went under the knife. Year before that, it was Tulsa. This year, because I'm not having any more heart surgery, no, we're going back to Tulsa. But it's important that you spend the time with your friends. And so oddly enough, as I was uh, going through, you know, like I said, I have three Christmases, the real Christmas being one. My next one is much along the same vein. It's a, it, it's a, my fantasy football drafts. I don't know about you guys, but I love fantasy football. And it's not for setting my lineup every week and for watching the stats and the games. No, it's, it's because I want to go to the draft. All right, my friends and I, we get together, we talk football and eat pizza. Where's the downside to this argument? This year, I have two live fantasy football drafts. So for one, I'm going to sit around with people and talk football. And then for the other one, I'm going to sit around with people and talk football. Again, nobody loses in this situation, but it's that camaraderie. And like this article said, it's not a bunch of guys sitting around just talking face to face like I'm trying to talk to you face to face right now. We're doing something. All right, when we're down in Tulsa, we're going to be floating in a pool or grilling out. And then when we're burnt from the day, we go see a movie, but we're always doing something. Now, we're going to be talking, probably like 13-year-old girls for the entire weekend, but it's while we're doing something. Same thing with the fantasy football draft. I'm going to catch up on every single person's family, their kids, their wives, what's going on with them. But I'm also going to be over here talking football. I'm going to be picking my players. I'm going to be studying the book. We're doing something. So when I read that in this report, I thought that was spot on. So look for something like that in your relationships. Are you are you getting the time you need with your friends? Ladies, honest to truly, are you getting the time you need with your friends? Are you guys sitting down at a, a coffee shop or in someone's house and having your time away from your significant other, your spouse, or whatever the situation might be, your kids? Lord knows you might wanna escape them once or twice. But you need that time as well. I can't speak on it as much because I've never had a woman's night out for many obvious reasons. Excuse me. But I, I understand the importance of it. Even when I was married, all right, many moons ago, I stressed the importance. I tried and I, I almost had it done. But I tried to get my then wife to take her sister and her two closest friends and go spend a girls weekend in Vegas. Because she needed that time. All right, you need time away from your significant other. So that's, that's what I've got going on there. Oh, Nancy checked in. Nancy Smith Maddox, uh, she is on Shine Your Light, and she is our first WYTV7 show that is now on iHeartRadio. So I, I hope maybe I get number two, because that'd be pretty cool. But yeah, we actually have Shine Your Light on iHeartRadio, so super awesome. Congrats, Nancy. Now let's see, go back to where I, I was. I just saw that pop up. Again, I was going to try and keep an eye on the uh, Facebook chat tonight. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, so we went over the fantasy football. Um, ladies, I, I gave you all the all the advice that I could with where I come from. So, uh, I, like I said, I took this out to a few people, uh, or I just put it on Facebook and was looking for responses. Here's what some other people have suggested, just by way of lifting yourself up. And again, this isn't this isn't just if you're a divorced person or if you're going through a divorce. This is if you get down, and we all do we all get down at some point in time. So here's how these people lift themselves up. The first one to respond, and I love this, uh, she's an avid animal lover, dog person all the way, and she simply suggested playing with puppies. Now, that's spot on. I know that she uh, gets her time to animal shelters, and tons of animal shelters need people to just come, play with the dogs, help take them on a walk. 
because there's so many dogs in shelters that aren't getting adopted out they need the volunteers to come help and i mean what could be better than hanging around and playing with dogs all day i miss having a dog greatly i'm not in a spot where i could be a responsible dog owner but there will be a day there will absolutely be a day where i get one back and so let's see here um next one oh a lot of these um revolved around nature uh nature is clearly another way that people recharge uh, and bring themselves back up a suggestion was to go for a walk in the woods listen to nature and just find a path near a creek yeah, i love walking near a creek i don't know about you guys you, i don't know if you can tell right there that's my fountain that i have going just because i love that sound of water so yeah i've got my fountain going behind me just so i get that that relaxing sound of running water uh, a person suggested cooking whenever she's down in the dumps she goes in the kitchen pulls out the gourmet stuff and really challenges herself with her cooking and coming up with great things to eat there i think that's another wonderful idea uh let's see here to do to do um let's see we had another vote for volunteers uh volunteering your time uh and this person actually suggested paying it forward just go to starbucks and pick up the person in front of you coffee and you know that how are you going to still be mad when you're doing something kind for somebody else that's a great way to just kind of pick up your own spirits uh, let's see here um uh, a person he's he said that he's you know oftentimes he's just not strong enough to to get his spirit back up himself and so he just he looks for joy in christ and all you have to do is just read some new testament and you're going to find that so he just goes straight straight to the book straight to the word uh another one a long walk uh, next to that playing a musical instrument so if you are musically inclined you know and i i wish i have tried several different times i would love to know how to play the piano and i would love to know how to play guitar and i am just not one of those musically inclined people i'll get to that suggestion in a second if you're watching the facebook chat uh tacos always work and yes daniel tacos always work there's never a bad time for tacos uh so yeah i i've always wanted to be proficient in an instrument and i just yeah i, I i'm not there uh my my buddy down in tulsa sean who will be down there in four days uh, he, he goes to the gym. He he sweats it out when he's down in the dumps. And if you've seen my boy and what he's done over the last, I don't know, year, health-wise, oh boy, I, I'm back to being the bigger one in this relationship because that dude has gotten swole, I think is the right word. He's in great shape. Good job, Sean. Love you, buddy. Uh, next one, let's see, walk down a quiet country road, hiking through the woods, sitting under a tree, listening to nature, and this one suggests a campfire. And you know the Eagle Scout in me loves the idea of a campfire. Let, let's ha let's sit around a campfire all night. I'm good with that. That is the best way to just unwind. Another suggestion: surrounding oneself with friends who will lift you up, friends who will leave you feeling full of promise and that can make you laugh. So you know, I I have my friends that will just give each other static all the time, and it's fun. But you also have those friends that you know in your moment of need will build you up. And just you know let you know your importance so that's that's uh, definitely another good one uh, da, 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 finding people and talking to them uh, this is from a guy who will talk to anyone this person who we know but I won't name will go and sit in the middle of Union Station just to talk to new people and if you're not familiar with Kansas City Union Station is our big train station that's been restored and thousands of people go through there daily and it'll just wait for people to talk to that is i don't have that but bless the ones who do let's see uh getting alone listening to praise and worship music uh, i'm a huge believer in the power of music whether it be listening to someone else or if i were to ever be able to play it myself which we're not there oh nate's in what's up nate next next one we have uh more music creating you know playlist and just taking music out on a walk and that's one that I've absolutely used. I've told you guys that I, I took up running to deal with my stress and have done race after race after race and just training run after training run where you just, you crank your tunes and you go. And there were times at my worst where I would just go until I couldn't go anymore. And I basically just had to pour myself back through my front door because I could no longer walk through it. Uh, let's see here. Uh, more more music. We have uh, K-Love is our local Christian radio station. So shout out to K-Love donate to wytv7 if anyone's listening uh, and then let's see lastly another one uh this person talks with friends 
or rides a bike or listens to music and i i know this person she uh, she and that biker type they are everywhere again another thing i'm just not good at the bike riding i just i know how to do it because you never forget but boy I, about two miles in i'm ready to pass out so well we're already at 827 i've been trying to keep an eye on the chat um you guys have been doing great over there tonight hopefully i caught everyone as they came in but i want to definitely leave time for our big surprise announcement september 5th we're going to have a guest right here in the man cave all right it's not going to be joe joe's going to keep doing his every third uh, tuesday of the month so like i said he'll be here august 15th there go all the likes because the people who know so joining us here in the man cave is going to be if you go out on facebook i want you to search masked veteran running across iowa all right his name is josh he is actually going to run across the state of iowa over a course of, i think he said of 10 days which is i think three i think he's going to do 348 miles if i remember correctly and he's doing this to raise awareness for PTSD as he is a veteran himself. He is going to come down from Iowa and he's going to sit right here with me and we're going to talk. And let me tell you, this dude is freaking awesome. All right. He has, he has a heart for Christ. I, I, I kid you not. And he's going to be able to speak on it so much better than I can. What got his attention was my show on blended families. He has opinions about that. It's a situation he's gone through. He is big with Team Fidelis that I work with and veteran uh, programs. He's running for PTSD. This is just an all around amazing guy. And he's gonna come down from Iowa and he's gonna kick it right here and talk to all of you on Walking With God. Again, September 5th. My words right now are not doing justice. My friends can all attest how freaking excited I am that he's coming. It's gonna be awesome. So we're gonna start gearing up for that show again like i said september 5th september 5th september 5th mark your calendars he's gonna be sitting right here from iowa right here and again this guy is amazing so uh everyone thank you so much it's it's already 8 30. i mean that was one of the quickest half hours in uh walking with god history so again please share our page share the show I want to get some more likes you know in facebook world you can either pay to have your stuff put out there or people can like and share it and you get the word out and that's what we're trying to do get the word out josh is on the way joe is coming back wytv7 is blowing up all over the place we're on iheart radio with one show more shows to come this is awesome so i hope you are nearly as excited as i am i'm sure that you are everyone let's close out in prayer and then you have a great rest of your week heavenly father thank you so much for bringing you everyone here tonight this show flew by but it was all good i hope that it was beneficial to everyone our mission at wytv7 is if we can help one person then everything we've done is worth it and we do all of this through you through christ and in jesus name we pray amen we are on a six day 23 and a half hour break we will see you right back here next week Last show with me, and then in two weeks, we got Joe, September 5th, Josh, the mass veteran across Iowa. Exciting stuff. Everyone have a great night, and we will see you next week.